Hello and welcome to a tutorial from Gosh Nathalian. I'm going to teach you how to make your Token Craft 2 mod pack run faster. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go into the Escape and Options. Go to Video Settings. You're going to turn Graphics to Fast. Smooth Lighting off. Particles decreased. Render Distance 5 chunks. You can increase that, decrease that, you know, whatever it works for you. Clouds off. Mip lap, MIP map levels off. That's what you do in the client. Now, there's a few things outside of the client that help a lot as well. One of the things is in your launcher, you're going to go to Edit Mod Pack when you're clicked on the Token Craft Mod Pack. There are several mods in here that you can disable that uh, don't affect gameplay while you're connected to the server. That is Aroma Backup. Uh, backs up the world, which you're not playing on your single player world, so you don't need it. Custom Main Menu makes the menu look really pretty. Don't need it. Uh, journey map. It uh, keeps track of where you are. Has a mini map in the corner. Uh, it's really useful, but if you can't play, then you don't need it. Uh, Lockdown universal. It, it makes it so there's a template of the world. You know all the really amazing content that they've added. And it, every time you start a new game in single player, you don't need it for the server. Uh, Lulnet pack identifier. Obviously, you don't need it for Prospercraft because it's not Lulnet. OpenEye. OpenEye is a mod that um, reports any bugs or crashes back to the mod pack developers so they can fix them. Um, it's pretty useful, so it's nice to keep it in place in case you crash. But if you need the juice, then you need the juice. Uh, perfect spawn. Perfect spawn is for single player to make sure you spawn in a certain place. RPG HUD changes all of the hunger bars and moves them to look more RPG-ish. Don't need it. Tomcraft node tracker. Pretty cool. Every time you can kind of Tomcraft node, it's going to keep track of where it is. Um, Yamst. Yamst is something you want to leave on. On. If you can, it reports back to Great Orator how, who is using the mod pack, how often, things like that. Anonymous, of course. Um, and damage indicators mod, don't need it. So those are you know 11 or so mods that you can disable that will increase it. The other thing you can do to increase it, if you've changed this, in the options, you want to make sure that um, use optimize arguments for fast computers is unchecked. You don't want to have that checked or it will slow you down. Also, you want to make sure you have plenty of memory. Um, I've got a located you know, 7 gigs of RAM. That should be plenty. Uh, I know people that have less and they're fine. Um, I've got lots of memory, so I just give it you know 7 gigs. Um, and the last thing you're going to do to help speed it up, in your, uh, in your right click and go to your NVIDIA control panel. If you have NVIDIA, if it's ATI, something else, go change the same types of settings. You're going to take your performance quality bar and slide it all the way to the performance side. This is going to make it so it doesn't have to render every little detail as much as possible. Not like Minecraft has much detail anyway, so you're not going to even notice. So just turn it to performance. That can help your game. So that is how you can speed up. One last thing, one last thing. In the, in the bottom right corner, if you click on the little dinger and right-click on FTB after you've launched your game, hit quit. It's going to exit out of that. It always stays running um, even while your game after your game is launched. So. That is how you speed up your Token Craft Mod Pack. Please leave any comments, questions, and below, and I will answer them because I love my users. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you on ProsperCraft. Have a great day.